South Florida hosting Rutgers. That's the South Florida Bull. Here's to you, Mason Robinson. First quarter, Rutgers down seven. Robinson going to go 60 yards. He's got reservations for six. Another look, and the South Florida players are expecting a fair catch, or so you would think. Oh, no. He didn't put his arm up. He didn't put his arm up. No, he didn't put his arm up. <laughs> Rutgers ties the game. Special teams coach would like to see you in his office. All right, Rutgers up to uh, up four, late third quarter, third and 21. Risky business, not just the movie. How about that play call right there? Keith McCaskill sniffed it out. That's a safety. All right, under 10 minutes left, fourth quarter. Rutgers up five against USF. Uh, the fumble, the recovery by Jacob Sims. First touchdown by an offensive lineman in USF history. And the Bulls hold on. And that has created a simple formula for them to get to the ACC title game. Just keep winning. Hokies taking on Georgia Tech and Blacksburg Thursday night. You see what these two teams have combined to do in the ACC the last three years. Joshua Nesbitt, there he goes. 71 yards for the touchdown. Uh, Georgia Tech didn't bother with the pass. They ran for 346 yards in this game. Take another look at it. Nesbitt gets a block from Anthony Allen, who ran for a buck 25 himself. And on that run, Nesbitt becomes a new ACC all-time leading rusher among quarterbacks. He passed Clemson's Woodrow Dantzler and Georgia Tech up 14-0. Second quarter, Georgia Tech up 14-7. Nesbitt picked off by Devon Morgan. Maybe that's why they don't throw it. Take another look at it. Nesbitt tries to slow down Morgan by stretching out his right arm. He would wind up leaving the game with a right forearm injury, and he's the catalyst for that Georgia Tech offense. So now fourth quarter, tied at 14. Tyrod Taylor, uh, Tyrod Taylor rather, going to Andre Smith for the two-yard touchdown. Over Georgia Tech takes the lead, 21-14. Ensuing drive for Georgia Tech, fourth and four. Roddy Jones on the pitch looks to throw. Nobody's open, so he'll tuck it and get there. Later in the drive, Orwin Smith trying to get outside. There's so much motion in that Georgia Tech offense. Hard to keep up with it. Hokies had problems early in the game. And then right there, as Georgia Tech ties it at 21. They wrapped up an 80-yard drive. Ensuing kick return. Two minutes and change left. Frank Beamer thought about redshirting David Wilson, but he said the decision not to is looking better and better. Wilson said, when I saw Green, I just turned the Jets on, and he went 90 yards for the touchdown. Paul Johnson said that play was a killer, but it's Beamer ball. Special teams touchdown gives the Hokies a 28-21 lead. Under a minute to play now. Richard sophomore Tevin Washington in that quarterback. Now he goes up top for Kevin Cohn for 38 yards. Georgia Tech completed only two passes all game. 14 seconds to go. Washington going deep. Richard Carmichael says, I'll take that. And the Hokies win again. That's seven in a row. They remain perfect in the ACC. And afterwards, their coach. ESPN2 Central Florida at Houston. Golden Knights undefeated in CUSA. Last time they were 7-2 and two overall, 1998. Dante Culpepper was their quarterback. This is Jeff Godfrey, who threw for nearly 300 yards, ran for over 100 yards. A.J. Guyton there, UCF, tw UCF up 20-3. We're in the third now. Free play. David Pylan, 334 yards, four touchdowns. Patrick Edwards there, 17 down. Houston's up one. Still in the third, UCF, boy, they, they're getting the home bounce on the road. Godfrey recovers, it's ruled a touchdown. And then Latavius Murray, he's got reservations for six. UCF, Georgia Leary win it 40-33. to 33.